What's up everybody? It's Matt from Electric All Wheels. This is the Magnum Pathfinder 48 volt, 500 watt rear hub motor, 13 amp hour battery. We're gonna go ahead and do a dual battery discharge balancer install from Electric All Wheel. We know that they are bullet connections, so we have the kit for that. We're gonna put a link for that in the description below. If you get the 36 volt bike, it's the same kit. Just make sure you get a 36 volt battery to do your second battery with. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. We really appreciate that. Check out all our other social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook group, e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. If you're in the area, you might like that. Throw in a ride, start an event, get a conversation going. Everybody likes to talk about e-bikes. Here we go. All right, there's our bullet connections. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our XT60 connectors and then match them up to the right ends here for this. And then afterwards we're going to take out this battery plate and we're going to make the connection. So we are back on to getting this to work. So red to red this is the only way it'll fit. There's that. we are so this would actually close the loop and you essentially have a factory system at this point now we got to get the balancer in there three screws one for the battery two for the battery plate which are right here and these will require a t20 torque screw uh, screwdriver to get them out and then there's another torque screw right here which goes to the plate and then there are two Phillips head screws on either side of the plate that have to be removed. Be careful not to lose any of these. These are pretty tough, so beware and do not strip your screw heads. So one Torx, another Torx, and then another Torx. All right, and what that does, it allows us access so we can move this out of the way just enough to get the plate out. All right, this thing has the lock on it, so it's definitely dependent on the wedging of getting this locking mechanism in there. No big deal. What we're trying to get at is the space that is right down here. As you can see under the plate, it's a void area, and then back in here is enough room for the 20 inch balancer. and then we will let the balancer reside in here. So 
so we've connected our factory outlet so this last plug will be for the extension cables here okay so we have our balancer in the top slot here we're just going to let that rest we've run the cabling through we've done our connections to factory after we hooked up our uh, bullet connectors to the existing plugs so let me just go ahead and repeat that here are all our three of our balancer cables we've done our bullet connections on our existing factory stuff so we're going to go ahead and plug this in which is our controller and then this is a battery and then the last battery will be this plug we're going to come up we're going to try and come up through the bottom here it's really tight I don't know if you can see this, but the brake cabling inside is not loose. So we need to make this connection, so I'm going to make sure and put this end up through the bottom. There we go. This is our external battery connection. I'm just gonna wrap it under here and then bring it up right there. And let that sit. Now I'm gonna get an extension on that. So I have this battery and then I also have some padding that I'm gonna lay on the face of it here so then when it's up against these studs, there's something protecting it from any inadvertent damage or slamming against that, because I don't want them penetrating the cells. All right, now I'm just gonna take and do my wrap around. I'm gonna try and get the cabling in on my wraps each time. run this one back over but first let me go ahead and get this plugged in for test so we know we don't have the factory battery in we've got everything plugged up now we're just gonna see if we can get some movement out of this rear wheel and there we go we are live that is just the second battery through the dual battery discharge balancer. Now what we're gonna do is take this loose. So in here, what I'm gonna do is try and wrap around these cables so I can get to the back side of this space. So for these, that means disconnecting them and then pushing them on the back side of the cable inside of the housing. And so now I'm just looking for a good balance of consumption of space, essentially. And I think that's gonna work. This side is gonna need the lock. And there we go. This is the Torx nut, or Torx screw on the battery plate.
Don't forget your Phillips screws here and here. This has been disconnected. Let's see if we can get some power. There we go. That is factory battery only with the balancer installed. We've created our room. We're gonna go ahead and button this up, get this installed, and we now have a dual battery Magnum Pathfinder. It is a hot, balmy day here in Florida, but we did finish it up. We have the dual battery Magnum Pathfinder. It now has a 48 volt parallel combination, 23 amp hours. You do not have to use the same amp hour battery for your extra battery. Just make sure it's match voltage. If you have the 36 volt uh, Pathfinder, make sure you get a 36 volt battery. It'll be the same kit from electric all wheel. And I would imagine the same setup internally or something very similar. We utilize the space appropriately, got an internal install. We're very happy with that plug and play. Uh, things worked out. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe here on this channel. Uh, let us know what you want to see next. We'll try and oblige that. And if give us a like on the Facebook group. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, come into that group, create an event. It's all about e-bikes and we want to share that vibe with everyone in the group. So please participate. We'll talk to you next time.